Hello everyone, welcome to another Genshin Impact video. Today we are looking at the Windbloom Festival particular Wonderland minigames. There are eight different minigames with different ending boss fights at the four different segments of the event. You can't go back and fight the previous bosses from older segments, but don't worry, you can still complete the challenges for the minigames from the old segments if you haven't already done so. The eight minigames are the Great Bubble Crash, Bubble Speedster, Stepping Stone Antics, One Way Traffic, Shimmering Path, Wind Bloom Blessing, No Landing, and Barrage Minuet. Completing these challenges will get you fucking dirty, and you'll need to take a bath after. I probably butcher that word, but whatever. Getting fucking dirty will award you with boosts for the fight at the end of the three minigames. Both the Great Bubble Crash and Bubble Speedster have you run up a ramp while dodging bubbles, with challenges to not get hit by any of the bubbles for extra prizes. As you are dodging the bubbles, sometimes the bubbles will come down and fill up all of the spaces, and there are little alcoves on the sides of the ramp to dodge them. Keep a lookout for the notification text that pops up on the screen when the outcomes become open, which will let you know that all of the lanes will be covered with bubbles. There are also a lot of crowns on these two minigames which can get you quite fucking dirty. Careful though, if you're too greedy you'll end up taking a bubble bath. Stepping Stone Antics is a very straightforward minigame. Some blocks will wobble and some won't. The blocks that aren't wobbling are safe to stand on, while the blocks that do wobble will fall down after a couple of seconds. There will also be some crowns to get bonus fucking dirty points. Be careful though as some of the crowns are not always on top of safe blocks and they might cause you to take a sploosh in the water below. One-way traffic and shimmering path also have challenges to finish them in a somewhat speedy manner for extra rewards. One-way traffic is a memory game, you must memorize the path to the end. There are also some crowns floating above the pathway, but both the crowns and the pathway will be hidden once it is shown. Be careful not to move in a direction while jumping to collect the crowns, otherwise you may skip over and land on an incorrect block and take a much needed bath. Thank you. 
No time to lose. Shimmering Path has a winding path. Crowns will randomly appear along the path, but be careful as the path constantly becomes invisible every few seconds. Windbloom Blessing and No Landing require you to get crowns within a time limit. Windbloom Blessing has falling crowns from the sky and will disappear if they stay on the floor for a couple of seconds. Some of the crowns turn red and explode if you touch them. There's a challenge to avoid all of the red crowns for extra rewards. Be faster. No landing has wind currents on both sides of the long hallway to get crowns that are suspended in the air. You lose Fock and Duty if you touch the cursed purple ground. There's a challenge to never touch the ground for extra rewards. Barrage Minuet is like jump rope. It'll start out easy with you being able to dodge these electro hypostasis like attacks by moving around and end up with rings that you must jump to dodge. There are also some explosive charges that periodically spawn right under your feet to keep you moving. And of course there will be some crowns to get extra fuck and dirty. There is a challenge to not get hit at all for extra rewards. There are also challenges to beat all the bosses within a certain amount of time for some primo gems. <laughs> No time to 
turn the loops. Outlines your your mind. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. No time to lose. I hope you guys like this video and it helps clear up some confusion with the mini games. Have a happy Windbloom Festival. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And check out our Discord server to gain access to Genshin Guide videos, event news, redemption codes, and more. Thank you for watching and remember, I will always love you.